hi friends today's video is about how you can improve your uh, windows 11 performance most of you might be facing issues with the slow performance of your pc especially when you are gaming and you are facing with the low fps and uh, the lot of process and threads in your windows and if you want to reduce those process and threads in your windows 11 or in windows 10 and get your PC perform better. You can choose this method. For that, just follow the process in this video. So if you bring up the task manager, you can see the current status of the uh, CPU. Here you can see that, go to the performance tab. You can see here currently, the utilization is about 60, 30 percentage. And the thread count is 3846 and the handle is running very high and the background process is also very high. These three are creating the issues with the performance of uh, your uh, PC or your laptop. So let's go and uh, do the optimization. And before that, I would recommend you to create a restore point so that if, if the optimization doesn't work for you, then you can revert it back to the old stage. So it's easy for uh, creating a restore point. Just uh, go to the start tab and then search for restore point you can create a restore point here just click on create so you can uh, give a name for that once the restore point is successfully created you can close down this window and you are good to go with your optimization now let's go to the optimization from here just go and click the start and then search for registry just open the registry editor on the left side you have to click on the h key local machine just expand it and you have to look for system then double click and open it from here just go to the current control set open it and click on control now on the right side you can see a set of keys just look for SVC host split thread this one and then just double click on it to edit now you can see here a set of value that are here it's a hexadecimal value uh, you have to change this value here depending upon the RAM of your computer so right now what you're seeing is the different uh, value of the RAMs which you need to uh, input on the value data so once you find the correct value, then just type it here or enter it here and click on OK. Now once that is done, you can close this window. Now next is you have to disable the startup applications. There are a lot of unwanted applications that is running in the background when you are using the computer. So you have to disable it so for that again you have to right click on the start then take the task manager now go to the startup apps here you can see a huge number of startup apps are running so you have to uh, close those apps for example just right click on it and disable it there are a huge number of startup apps just you have to disable everything which you find is unnecessary there might be a lot of third-party applications which is not required for the startup which might be consuming a lot of resources from uh, your computer so you can uh, disable it and whenever you want that services you can run it directly from the app section now once you are done with it you can close it now as the next step you have to click on start then go to the settings now from the just go to the privacy and security now you can see a lot of permissions with related to the windows you can disable the unwanted permissions and uh, settings of Windows. So you can see in the first uh, tab, it is general. 
this is actually sending a lot of suggestions and other related contents to the microsoft so there are a lot of things which you can disable and which is not required so just expand that um, tab if in your computer this is enabled turn these three first three options off i already done that you can turn this also off now just click on uh, speech if it is enabled just uh, turn it off then go back uh, linking typing and personalization and then turn it off now after that just go down to the app permissions and here you can disable all the permissions which you are not using many of the permissions for any on the top if you are not using the location camera and microphone then you can turn that off but definitely you might not be using the phone calls and all those uh, things and your laptop so in that cases you can turn either this off now go back and just go to tasks from here just turn this off now radios many of the features in this section are not using by uh, most of the users of windows so you can one by one uh, disable it for example if you are not using the calls then you can disable it once you have done close it now next step is to go uh, into the windows search and uh, type in type sysdm.cpl that is system control panel now from here uh, you have to click on the advanced now click on uh, performance by default it will be let the window choose what's best for your computer if you are not too much concerned about the animation or the appearance then you can definitely go and choose the third option that is adjust for the best performance or if you want some part to be running on the background uh, like uh, the animations in the taskbar then just definitely you can choose the third one the custom then you have to click on apply and then click on ok now click on ok now next step is to open any of the browser and now you have to open this link from the microsoft.com i'll share the link in the description you can uh, directly take it from there now from here just go down and uh, download auto runs and auto run sc is download it it will be a file just auto open it and run it so here you will say a set of uh, exes based on your system you can run the exe that is 64 bit just i am running the 64 bit exe you have to agree to the license and terms just agree to it now the application auto runs is started now here you have to look on the logon tab then click on it now here you have to uncheck all the applications that uh, is running in the background which doesn't comes along with the computer you can see that microsoft edge auto launch just uncheck it google chrome opera here winsip prelaunch hide me vpn so whatever the things you don't require and the log on just uncheck it now from here just go to the scheduled task so here you should look for the task which you don't need that comes along with the computer so here i don't want auto update for opera 
schedule assistant auto update win save gpu tick there are a lot of things which you can uncheck here microsoft edge update so google update you can uncheck it you can uncheck all the things which you find it unnecessary now from there just click on the services tab and whichever services you don't need just go ahead and uncheck them Now once that is done, just click on file and click on save. And you can save the file. Now once that is done, you can uh, close it. Now the final things you have to do is you have to disable the unwanted services from your computer. Now for that, just click on uh, the start button. From here, just type in services. Just open the services. Now from here, you will find all the services that is running and many of these services are unwanted or you are not using. So you can disable it for the time being or for the permanent basis. I'll show a few of things which you can turn it off. So once you have stopped all the services and wanted services, you can go ahead and close this window. Now the next step is to you have to restart your system. So I'm going to restart it. Now I have restarted uh, the, my system and here you can see that after restarting the process threads and handles have reduce significantly and the utilization of CPU is less. So this will help your system perform better and you will be able to run your games with more FPS and with better performance. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.